Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So in my last video I talked a bit about weapon customization and weapon progression in the next battlefield. And so today I want to talk a bit about your personal player profile customization and your character customization in game. And first I want to start with profile customization. So currently in battlefield 2042 we have a system where you can unlock some player background card and also some player titles. But most of the cooler cards I would say are usually in the battle pass or you can buy with real money in the in-game shop when you buy like a bundle with a character skin weapon skin and then they throw this stuff in there to convince you that the pack is actually worth 15 bucks even though it's only basically just the skin for your character and the gun skin so five euros would be enough but that's another topic and i personally like those player cards because they remind me a bit of like your court badges you can get or calling cards what it's called in call of duty and i think they really have the potential to not only to express your uniqueness as a player but i also think they have the potential to actually make people grind the game a bit more if those cards were actually cool and you would get them for doing actually cool things like the player card i currently have i probably showed in the background right now it's a very cool card or i personally think it looks very cool but for this card i had to do nothing because i only had to do i think it was the season or easter egg or the season 5 easter egg i'm not sure i had to do an easter egg to get it so absolutely no skill required just pop up a youtube video follow the instructions on the youtube video and you got this card but i still think it looks really cool and i wish that in the next battlefield game they actually take a big inspiration from call of duty calling cards the same as i want them to take inspiration from like call of duty's guns system and stuff on skin system and we actually get some cool cards that actually require skill because currently the problem is most cards you you can unlock you basically have to do nothing for this i think for my trace list the title i currently have i think i had to do like three melee kills in like one round and for most of the player cards it's like deal this much damage with an ar or get like five kills with this ar and two headshots with this ar and you get a player card with an ar and stuff like this so i think personally those cards are a cool idea but the skill required to get them is not really that high so a lot of people basically have a lot of these cards but they are not meaningful and in a sense that if I die to somebody and I see a player card I usually don't know what this card means or what he needed to do to get this card because I first of all think most of the cards look ugly as fuck and also since you don't really get any cards because you did some crazy stuff in game most people also don't really care about this and I think that's a bit sad because back in the day especially in Call of Duty and stuff there were certain cards calling cards you could equip and I take a pretty well-known example Black Ops 2 the new calling card when you got a new you got a super insane card and when you were in the lobby and you had this new calling card everybody knew wow this guy is a really insane player and even better i think there was another calling card if you got the nuke in free for all where it's up to 30 kills so you basically went 30 and 0 in free for all you got an extra special new calling card and when you had this stuff equipped like you were the king in the lobby everybody looked at this and was like wow this guy is so good i also want this card and they had a lot of calling cards they still do to this day where if you get like five kills 25 times you get like a grim reaper card and then with like 10 kills i think also 15 times you get a cooler looking Grim Reaper card and this all stacks up up to like 30 kills where you get like a new card or whatever it's called or I still have mine from Modern Warfare 2019 where you have like an animated card with a nuke if you drop a nuke in the game and I think Battlefield should add this. Of course I'm not here advertising for like nukes in Battlefield I think this wouldn't fit the game but calling cards where if you as a player get like on a 15 kill streak you get like a really cool looking Grim Reaper card that really shows people hey this guy can drop 15 kills without dying this and this often because not only would it reward good players because they would be able to customize their personal profile in game a bit more but it would maybe also motivate worse players to get better in the game because they say hey this calling card looks cool but I can only get it if I get better at the game and not if I just throw money at the game. So that's my wish for the next Battlefield game and of course I also want to say these bring back dog tags like the cool ones from Battlefield 3 we had where you could also do customization but then the customization is more for when somebody knives you and also I will probably make a separate video talking about knife animations and why the current knife animations in third person suck but that's 
a topic for another video. And the other part I want to talk about is your personal character customization. So I think we are all pretty clear that we don't want specialists in the next Battlefield game because yes, for specialists you can sell a lot of skins, but I personally think a lot of people have a hard time actually identifying with the soldier they are playing because I be real with you, yes, I have a cool McKay skin, but I really can't identify myself with McKay. The same for Falk. And I really wish they would bring back the customization from Battlefield 5. I personally think the Battlefield 5 customization was actually the best customization we had in Battlefield up to this point because up to this point we only had nameless soldiers basically and I know a lot of people want to spec but I'm not really a fan of this because I like to express my personality a bit when I play FPS games and you usually can do it only through the skins you are wearing and so I really like the customization in Battlefield 5 because I could just I could choose my gender I think that's important for a lot of people I can choose the clothes my character is wearing face paint the hair style and stuff like this and this really made every soldier look very individual compared to everybody else and I still think it doesn't take away from the battlefield feeling I would actually say it increases a bit more because I think even in real life even though basically every soldier gets the same basic equipment they still stylize it all a bit you could see it in the Vietnam War for example where they had like those cards on their helmet and stuff so even though everybody was given the same basic equipment people usually still find a way to customize their uniform to the extent that it's possible to be more seen as an individual than like a big group and I think Battlefield should copy it because the current problem we are having is everybody wants to make a lot of money skins sell really well as we all know and so there is needs a way to properly balance the game in a way where they get away from specialists and stuff because people absolutely hate them but they need to still find a way to sell you skins for like battle pass and stuff because they will never go away from this it makes just too much money for them and so i think having the customization from battlefield 5 is perfect there were enough closing options you could like level by just playing the game enough customization there were some really cool things when you reached i think level 20 with each class you would get a special assignment for some special clothes you could only you could only get if you do the special assignment i think they should also bring this back but it would still give dice the option to sell skins and still make it like look like your normal typical soldier game of course they have to be a bit more creative than what they are currently but overall i think the battlefield 5 customization is the best middle ground for dice to sell skins and for you as a player to still feel like you are playing your own character with your own customization and so i think this is the best option going forward for the next battlefield game because let's face it the battle pass isn't going away and if you make really every character just your normal grunt like we had in battlefield 3 and battlefield 4 and stuff then what are they going supposed to sell you in like the battle pass they can only really sell you stickers weapon charms maybe some gun skins some tank skins but most people probably want the battle pass for one the tier 100 skin they get for the operator and some of the other operator skins and most of the stuff in the battle pass is worthless anyways and now let's say everybody has like this this basic soldier for every class and the only thing they can do like in battlefield 3 and battlefield 4 is like change the camouflage and nobody's going to buy a battle pass because they get like a red camouflage a black camouflage and a green camouflage nobody does this so i think if they, if they just go with the battlefield 5 system everybody would be happy but yeah these are my thoughts first of all player customization i think that important for a lot of people for me personally to express myself better and also the player profile with the cards i also think that's a super important thing to have in a game just for people to you know grind something and also to show off their achievements i mean nobody really has an interest in playing a game grinding a game and doing well in a game when they have nothing to show for basically if i can play a hundred hours in my profile when i kill somebody it looks basically the same as somebody that's just started out then yeah why would i play for 100 hours of course i play for 100 hours if the game is fun but even a fun game isn't lasting you for like a million hours if you have nothing to work for or to show for for the time you put in so i think that's a basically a very good compromise but yeah i would now be interested in hearing your thoughts on this what do you think first about your profile customization do you agree with me do you also think player cards can look cool but they are just too low effort currently in the game and what do you think about customizable characters do you also want a system like battlefield 5 or do you rather want a specialist system with the fixed skins and fixed characters that we currently have let's just let me know down in the comments below as always if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future battlefield content thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you in the next one